Hi guys, welcome back to our discussion on infinite series. In today's video, I talk about monotonic sequences and bounded sequences. So in this lesson, you should be able to learn how to use properties of monotonic sequences and bounded sequences. But what is monotonic sequence? So a sequence denoted by a sub n is said to be monotonic when its terms are non-decreasing. That is, a sub 1 is less than or equal to a sub 2, less than or equal to a sub 3, and so on and so forth. Or when its terms are non-increasing, that is, a sub 1 is greater than or equal to a sub 2, greater than or equal to a sub 3, and so on and so forth. Okay, like for example, suppose we are asked to determine whether each sequence having the given n term is monotonic. So for letter A, given this n term, A sub n is 3 plus negative 1 to the n power. So, so if we let the value of n as 1, so what is A sub 1? So by substitution, this is 3 plus negative 1 raised to 1 is negative 1 plus 3, so this is positive 2. How about if the value of n is 2? So again, by substitution, 3 plus negative 1 to the second power. So this is positive 1 plus 3, so this is 4. If n is 3, negative 1 raised to 3 is negative 1 plus 3, so positive 2. If n is 4, negative 1 raised to an even exponent is positive 1 plus 3, so this is 4. So as you can see, this is what? Um, this is... Uh, less than 4 but 4 is greater than 2 so this is not a monotonic sequence and as you can see in this figure if n is 1 your a sub 1 is 2 if n is 2 your a sub 2 is 4 so this is increasing decreasing increasing so this therefore this is not a monotonic sequence okay suppose we have another example uh, given the n term of the sequence, b sub n is 2 times n over 1 plus n. So, to show that this is monotonic, we assign value to n and then we solve for b, for b sub n. Okay, so post n is 1, so by substitution 2 times 1 over 1 plus 1. So, this is 2 over 2 or 1. That's your b sub 1. And then, if n is 2... This should be b sub n. If n is 2, then 2 times 2 is 4 over 1 plus 2. So, that's 4 over 3. If n is 3, then 2 times 3 is 6 over 1 plus 3. So, that's uh, 4 over, uh, sorry, 6 over 4 or 3 over 2. If n is 4, so 2 times 4 is 8 all over 1 plus 4. So, that's 8 over 5. And as you can see, uh, your b sub 1 is uh, less than b sub 2, b sub 2 is less than b sub 3, and b sub 3 is less than 8 over 5. So, we can therefore conclude that this is a monotonic sequence no? because uh, each successive term is larger than its predecessor. So, to compare this or to see this in general form, we will compare the terms b sub n and b sub n plus 1. So, this is your b sub n from the given you have 2n over 1 plus n. And then we can define b sub n plus 1 by replacing all the n here by n plus 1. So, you can write this as 2 times quantity n plus 1 all over 1 plus n where n is n plus 1. And then we multiply both sides of this inequality statement by the LCD of each of this uh, fraction. So, by multiplying, we cancel out 1 plus n. So, we have 2 plus n times the numerator. So, we get this, 2n quantity 2 plus n. On the other side, because this is n plus 2, and we multiply by this LCD, we cancel out n plus 2. So, we have 1 plus n as the quotient times the numerator. So, 1 plus n times 2 times n plus 1 is 2n plus 2. Then, by distributive property, 2n times 2 is 4n. So, this is 4n. 2n times n is 2n squared. Next, we multiply 1 plus n by 2n plus 2. So, we have 1 times 2n. We have 2n. And then, n times 2n. That's also 2n. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, 2 times n is also 2n. So, 2n plus 2n, we get 4n. And then, product of the outer terms, 1 times 2 is 2. Product of the inner, 
2n times n is 2n squared. Because 4n and uh, 2n and uh, 2n squared bo uh, both common on both sides of this inequality statement. So we can remove them by subtracting uh, 4n and 2n squared on both sides. Okay, so we subtract negative 4n minus 2n squared by on both sides. So because this is common, when added, negative 4n plus 4n is 0, negative 2n squared plus 2n squared is also 0. So the left-hand side is 0. On the other side, when we added 4n with negative 4n, this is also 0. 2n squared and negative 2n squared is 0. So you have 2. And we have shown here that because 0 is less than 2, so this inequality is said to be valid, which uh, uh, wherein we can, we can conclude that the sequence is monotonic. Okay, another example. Again, suppose you're given uh, the n term C sub n is n squared over 2 to the n minus 1. So to find the behavior of this sequence, whether monotonic or not, then we need to assign values to n and then you solve for C sub n. Suppose, for example, that if your n is 1, 1 squared is 1 over 2 to the 1 minus 1 is 1. So 1 over 1 is 1. If n is 2, then you have 2 squared over 2 squared minus 1. But uh, 2 squared is 4, so 4 minus 1 is 3. So this is 4 over 3. Okay, if n is 3, then... Uh, 3 squared, so that's 9, all over 2 to the third is 8 minus 1, so 7, so 9 over 7. If n is 4, so this should be 4 squared is 16, all over 2 to the fourth is um, 16 minus 1, so this is 15. Okay, um... 4 over 3 is approximately 1.3, so 1 is uh, less than 4 over 3. Okay, how about 9 over 7? So 9 divided by 7 is uh, approximately 1.29. So this is approximately 1.29. This one is 1 and 1 third or 1.3. Okay, so this is uh, 1 is uh, less than 1.3 but 1.3 is greater than 1.29 so this is not monotonic why because the second term is greater than both the first term and the third term okay but uh, it says here that if you drop the first term the remaining sequence, C sub 2, C sub 3, C sub 4, and so on, is monotonic. And as you can see in this illustration, this one is less than C sub 2, but C sub 2 is greater than all of these uh, terms of the sequence on the right side. So, if you drop this, uh, the first term, C sub 1, then the remaining terms form a monotonic sequence so in summary you know we can say that a sequence is monotonic when its terms are non-decreasing or when its terms are non-increasing that's all for today thank you